You know what's funny is when the Admiral has his towers right in front of the harbor of Miss Hunt and welcome back to Android 1800. This is looking hilarious. All the clippers are either stuck here or are getting totally destroyed by this um, harbor area. I think this love affair we're just going to keep here. It wasn't of course always like that. I think they planned the whole layout when they were together and well plotting against me and now it's basically well everyone for himself and this is how it's looking there hilarious so this is how the whole situation up there in the north is well i guess bugged out for now or at a standstill as they can't do anything else for now what i can say though is that in the new world miss hunt is much stronger and more present the same with the admiral than in the old world and what i can also say is that we basically have the whole north of um the new world not discovered yet we should do this at some point, even though this is really dangerous, because as soon as we find an island, um, well, they can shoot back at us, right? So lots of all of these islands will be settled by now, and all of them will have harbor defenses. So it's a bit tricky of doing that. Now we are... Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa, she's coming in here again. Of course, she's getting a bit surprised, I guess, by my attacks. But why is she doing... Or what is she doing so close in my center there? Once again, oh, I know we have Victor Island and Victor Island is pretty close um, also to the end of the white flag. Now what we can do in the meantime is I'm going to send a couple of ships over to Victor Island. Let's say four ship of the lines for now in order to secure this island until we have enough influence again. Now also in Victor Island we have the mines. I think everything is ready now. In Drinkwater we have the brass. And thus we can start now finally with our brass production that we should. Now that means basically in Navarrete, the copper mine, the first one we can build. And we can also build the second copper mine over here, right? And this is just enough worker workforce before it comes to an end. And this poor <laughs> animal was, well, chased or is being chased away now. Okay, there you have your peace again, right? Because civilization is coming closer. There we have the first one, or well, two copper, and in this courtier we do have then the third copper and the first zinc. This is working now, and in Victor Island we do have the two zinc. So we have then really, and this is pretty cool, three zinc and three copper. And all of that is being transported then to drink water. Now let's just check real quick. That means we could build up to six brass smelters. Now, of course, that is entirely possible and it would cost us 1,400 on the balance, I think. And I think we should be doing that because, nah, I'm not building all of them yet, but I think at least four of them will be fine. Ship under attack. All right, oh yes, 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 yes. There's also the, the ships coming from here. Attention, My ship of the lines and from the south we have two ship of the lines too. I think we might just catch them there. Unaware. I mean not unaware but we... Yep, this one is trapped and that is just absolutely fantastic. It's totally trapped and I think we might take it out. On point. And that frigate will not have much of a chance there either. Stations. Yep, your own fault Miss Hunt for doing that. Oh yeah, it's trying to flee. I mean, this is a smart move in general. She's trying to flee, but that was the only way right into the harbor area and thus the ship is going down even faster. Thanks for that. Let's put my ship of the lines now to Victor Island and let's start creating the trade routes. I'm trying to not have that many trade routes active here. So we do have, we have Victor Island, we have Navarrete, we have the Scordier. Um, I'm going to have one trade route here in this triangle. So that's Navarrete where we have the copper, right? And I think it's that amount. And then we have the Scordia where we do have more copper and also zinc. And all of that goes to drink water. And that is one ship, the seahorse. Yep, that is actually pretty close already. And then we have the second trade route that is from Victor Island to drink water. Unfortunately, that is a really small trade route. There's not that much we could do here, and that is the thing only, right? And that should be enough. And there's actually a ship already in the harbor area that is Nantucket that can work on that. Awaken this one here. Horizons. And yes, of course, we do need once again the path to the harbor area. Otherwise, it's not going to work. 
here it's working and here it's also not working i knew there was something wrong when i was building it but that is a thing of the past now very good this is coming in um that's three mines for each so as i said six of them would be possible now and once i boost the production of the mines i could build all of them but for now let's leave it with three oh oh reinforced concrete right that's fine so do still need a couple of resources that's the bricks and all and yep very good two more trade contracts i have finished also the export offices so we're coming closer we have now already then seven trade contracts and let's just see workload we have quite a lot soap we have quite a lot and we're using soap mostly for the pig heads so in order to increase the volume for soap i will have another soap trade contract now um, and we are going to choose what are we going to choose here oh and one of my ship of the lines was destroyed oh um, yep i was not Hi. careful enough sent them over there oh by the way they're not patrolling so we need to put the patrol back on track in this channel they're very important all right that was my mistake but let's go back um i have an idea where we would like to use the additional export in office uh the export so the soap goes for not the goulash but the coal because the coal we're going to need now quite a lot let's make 300 only the coal we're going to need for the filaments right because we still have another production chain that we need to finish and that is the light bulbs and the light bulbs do need the filaments and they do need the glass makers i can now get rid of those two green farms here we have or we are full on green anyway i think almost full let's get rid of them that's a bit more space then and in this area we can then have some of those filaments let's get rid of that charcoal burner there as well we have quite a lot of coal production now and we're importing the coal so it's fine over there there we can have then the film ah. mm. <laughs> how much glass do we have i still have two more glass and i think for the sand we should be full anyway ah, but we are pretty high there very good let's build a bit more glass uh, here I could still continue then with a bit more glass than in this area too. Right -o. Right, let's just build all of them. And I do need... Stand to attention probably to need boss. to increase the production here. Oh, we can do this. We can go up to 30% without losing a bit of happiness. Let's do that. I also will need to upgrade a few more workers to artisans because artisan workforce is really low and i never thought that we would actually see the day that this is happening mm. those guys and let's upgrade those farmers here to workers i do need to work on my farmer population though but we got a few artisans in again up here we can do this i will need though some paved roads to extend the range and then we can have some... Ah, actually, I wanted to have something here, right? A beautiful museum or something. So we just continue building more here. That's that. And probably... Yep, let's finish the transition between the city and the industrial zone. Over here. And of course something that i actually wanted to do for quite some time now that is something we can do now as well and that is the industrial wall that we would have here and let's just see it's beginning here somewhere so this is the end of it uh, right oh there we have it let's build the the brick wall with some gates and as we can see yep this is looking fine i think for now as the first of as the first uh, iteration of that and look at that oh yep this is fine we might also just upgrade the road uh the, the bridges here to some brick bridges then as well so that whole thing looks a bit more civilized now in the center there as well and this wall now goes through the whole 
City area, more or less. Oh, and we've upgraded more export goods there once again. Ship under attack. Okay, that's not a big deal. And we should be seeing now the first copper and zinc coming in. Perfect. And with that, hopefully, the first brass to appear soon. What? Shares his fascination for great white sharks. Do we have a new quest? No, we don't. We need to jack this one as well. So, yep, the soap is our first good that we've upgraded now to the um, level 3. That means, of course, soap is more valuable as well. Um, pigs is still fine, right? So the production there is fine. The coal is coming in and it's stuffed iron and coal. Perfect, because this is really important for our filaments. We have still one more co uh, contract. Nope, and we're not going to peace with each other. Let's just see what else we could do with the... Nah, soap I'm not going to trade anymore. And I think work cloth might be something that we can still push. It's really cheap to produce and we don't need that much anymore in in Grimmen. Now, of course, it's a cheap thing, right? It's just there so that we can open up more expert offices. Let's just see what we could Ship do with it. Attack. I could try the dynamite. <laughs> yes. 20, uh, 25 dynamite we get out of the, f uh, the 400 work cloth there. Um, or I take the coal instead of it. Oh, look at that. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, ratio, actually. And instead of it, I could take here the coal and could say dynamite, please. Where we get way more out of it. This makes more sense, right? So there's the coal. And coal we need a lot. And instead of the rum for the fur coats, we could say rum for dynamite as well. Yep, let's do it like that. And the rum is something we will be able to upgrade as well. Uh, the sausage is the next one then. And the workload should be coming up as the new level 4 good then. We definitely, definitely will have though another expert office. Very good. Ship Very good. And oh, one more thing. One more thing that I want to do is let's have also the... Some additional... Now, loading wharfs we could have, um, storage depots we need, of course, but what I wanted to have is the piers, so we do have a few more things for the ships, and we could squeeze two of them in here right into the center, right, which is looking not so bad, I think, once we build it, so they can be coming up there, and at the side we have then more of them. We might also have just a bit of uh, space in here, like with uh, the addition of roads, like that, and here, right, so there's a bit more that popping up then everywhere oh yeah here we have the harbor area actually of those depots there i think yep so that's not something we can do i still would like to retain a bit of symmetry we'll find out if i can manage to do that uh, I, I think we we will not be able to fully do it because there we are limited by the rocks of course and here we have open a harbor area that i basically just want to plaster full of the docklands probably going to be my biggest docklands yet that we built there now i'm limited by my steel beams even though we have the steelworks here. Not pushing, no can do. Now, what I still need to do, we have the glass here, the spectacles, and since the brass is soon going to come in, uh, I still need the steam motors, right? Steam motor assembly lines. Hmm. Let's have two. We will need two of them. I hope we don't need more of them. Right next to each other. And then we have the... Oh no, actually there's the warehouse anyway, so we could actually have another one. Let's have three, right? Because then it's it's over with the space anyway. Three should be fine. Some paved road there as well. And the warehouse that we can upgrade as well. For this, they however do need electricity, right? So before I activate them, I do need to have my power plant working them. So that's something to keep in mind. How much oil do we have? Uh, we are we are pretty well staffed, but once I build the second one, this is going to deplete rapidly. And we need to use this time then to build as many steam motors as possible. Now, how's it looking with the steel in general? We do have it. Very good. We have lots of steel. That's fine for now, but of course we're going to consume that soon. How's it looking with the brass and drink water? Is brass coming in? It is. Not a lo whole lot, I think, though. We do have now more materials, and I would like to build the... Let's build two more. Very good. And let's upgrade our warehouse there. So we have four of them now working. Copper and zinc. Very good. It is in. Inbound. And more of it to come. Just say the word. Yep. And it's quite busy here in drink water. So 
what I actually wanted to do as well was building another pier um, in drink water. It's incredible how I never can remember where the piers are. There we have it. And I think with the depot, I think it makes sense to have a pier here where we have the depots. Yes, off you go. To have a smaller harbor area then as well, being connected by the depots. Fine, that's lots and more materials coming in. And what we still need is a new trade route now for the brass. And I would like to create a new trade route for that. And that's the brass only. Yeah, it's never going to be more than 50 tons, I think. But just for the sake of, well, to playing it safe. Let's have Thunderclap on this trade route. Off you go. And one ship will be fine because it's a very short trade route. Speaking of trade routes, there is one thing that bothers me a bit right now. And that's the coffee. Like, rum is not a big deal. Rum is fine, but coffee is really low. Is it because we don't have enough ships on the trade route or is it because we don't produce enough coffee? There's rum, there's cotton. There's a couple of ships coming in now. Let's just see what they're all about. Two should be coming in. There it is. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. But he's only, I think he's only securing this cargo ship there. Cotton. There's not a whole lot of coffee coming in, it seems. You're coffee, okay. But you're not really full. And about the coffee, there's only one ship on it. Right? So what we need... First of all, I think we do have a clipper available still in New World. No, we don't. No, we don't. Can I, bu can I purchase one? We can, because we had a level up. So I'm at 9 influence right now. There is the clipper for that and let's get the clipper over there real quick to value and then to Aguada where we have the coffee but it's not full the right so left we do have an upgraded one an upgraded harbor area but we still need some depots there we can afford that though let's do it let's do it over here so it's more or less once again a little harbor area that we create like that where we could have another pier then being attached to it. And that's a lot more storage coming in. Uh, workforce, workforce, can we upgrade? We could upgrade a few of them because I would still like to expand a bit my coffee. That's looking good. A few more obreros and that means... Let's have... The ratio was 2 to 1, right? Yes, 2 to 1. One more warehouse. Four more of those farms and that means two more of the coffee roasters oh yeah and that's more obreros that we can take so i need to upgrade a couple more oh and this is getting really tight here now right <laughs> so i need to expand the city if i want to have more coffee production up and running now the clipper is on its way we can assign it to the trade route as well there it is boxer and transporting the coffee now to Grimmen as well. Holy moly, lots of logistics that we need in order to achieve the investors. Now the brass should be coming in soon. That means I can start now with the spectacles. The spectacles, they don't need electricity, right? Nope, they're only improved by it. Let's build the warehouse and let's build... Yeah, actually we could build three of them and be totally fine for now. That's all the steel beams we have anyway. And, oh yeah, they're already off going about the brass. Very good. So the spectacles are coming in. I'm going to close it off though for now. Because I want to wait for a bit of spectacles to arrive. At the same time, what we can do is the light bulbs. They we can finish now for sure. We only need the filaments once again though. No. Okay. They're not reducing the attractiveness. I was pretty sure that they would. But they're not. They do require engineers. Oh, how lucky we are because I'm out of artisans. And they produce every minute. The same with the light bulbs. And that's really the last amount of space that I have on my island. Yep. Especially my industrial zone is stuffed. Ooh, this is... This is also tight. Right, we can have three here. I could move that furnace there a bit. A that tiny bit. Like so. To squeeze in a few more of these light bulb factories at least two more with that i can work 
This one though has a quite a long way to one of the warehouses, but since it's paved roads, it should be fine. It should be fine, and that means I still need, yep, some four filament factories, and they need a lot of space. Um, yep, here I can definitely do it, but I do need to remodel a bit my train station, or my train tracks there. Over there, very good. And then I can squeeze in, perfect, another four, another two here, so we have four working now and that's pretty much all I can do right there's really not that much more space all right so we just need to wait now a bit for more steel beams to come in it's really really strange how little steel beams we get I might open up a trade route oh yep we can do that probably with something yeah bread we produce a lot of bread I could have lots of weapons uh, we uh, penny Thar things that would go really well, I guess, but Penny Thar things are way too important to have them on a trade route or to have them on a, on, a, on a contract. So I would like to go with, we have lots of work clothes. Let's do it just for now and let's get us the required, oh wait a second, steel beams? I can't do steel beams yet. You can't actually do steel beams as far as I can see. Yep, there's no steel beams contract. As it is with all the building materials. No building materials are possible, only the raw materials. All right, good to know. Something else. We have, by the way, now eight trading contracts, so I still need four more to unlock the required things that I want. Um, there's more brass to come in. That's good, that's good. Spectacles are working. Yeah, steel beams. Let's start with the first filaments. They don't need that much steel. Like, let's build the first three. And, yeah, what we can do, of course, is getting rid of more grain fields here. Those two, definitely, at some point. But I think they're a nice buffer at the moment between the city and the industry. I like the look of that. Plus, the color is beautiful. Very bright and all. I can't even upgrade because we're totally full there on this, uh, totally empty on the steel beams. And as we can see, the money is going away from us right now. But that's of course because we started uh, quite some expensive productions. But once those products go forward, uh, go in, or once we open them up for the engineers and the uh, for the engineers, we are getting a lot of money back in. We still need also one electrical power plant in Grimmen. And there's a quest. Could you take a photograph of us in front of the university, please? My daughter has studied 11 hours a day for five solid years to reach this moment. We must well, of course I can, if you give me a nice reward. We might do something about it. And boom. Another year graduates, Quad just like all the others. The dynamo. Production buildings provides electricity. Oh, this is good. This one is producing electricity for my factories. We don't need, we absolutely don't need a power plant here. We have found the right one. With the trade union, yes, I can take them. Perfect, we don't need the power plant here. This is, this is pretty mighty. Oh, beautiful, we have found the right item. That is pretty rare. We only need a trade union here now in the center of it. We can build it, right? Oh, it doesn't even cost us influence. And we can have the dynamo provides electricity. Isn't that nice? All of them are getting boosted now. Why not? Oh, I haven't built them yet. And also the motor assembly lines do get electricity with it. Perfect. Oh my goodness, this is great. As we can see, it's working right away. What the hell? Mm-hmm. You can laugh at me. <laughs> for not having fire stations here once again, but I didn't think that those farms would get destroyed like that. All right. All right, that's fine, but nothing can hinder my good mood here because we have electricity without the need of using oil for the factory district. So let's get rid of all of that, of all of those train stations. Great, great day indeed. They leave those strange pavements. And I can just now have some roads here again. Mm -hmm. 
really good, really good stuff. That means that the oil that I have right now, I can use then for my, yeah, for Grimm in itself. Copy? Right away, and what do you want for me? Let's have the 10 money. That is really important right now. And the minus 20 consumption is pretty important too, instead of the happiness, and we reduce the... Siege is successful, we reduce the chance of protests. Now it's just a question, where do we want to have the power plant? Um, do the engineers need a school? I don't think so. No, they only need the university. So getting rid of this school here is a possibility. Another thing would be getting rid of the church here, but I like churches. Mm. Uh, that's going to be a bit tricky. We could remove the whole block of engineers here and have it in the center, right? This would reach all of them. I need to think about that, what the best layout here is, and then we can actually, yep, we, the only thing we now need to do is open up glasses and light bulbs, and then we can push for engineers, uh, for investors. This is going to be fun. Stay tuned.